हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस सेक्शन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल जस्ट कन्फिगर आवर डेटा बेस कनेक्शन वी आर राइटिंग डेटा बेस सर्विस वंस वी आर डन विद द डेटा बेस सर्विस वी विल जस्ट ट्राई टू क्रिएट द डिफरेंट एंटिटीज विद द डिफरेंट रिलेशनशिप एंड वी विल ट्राई टू क्रिएट अ कंट्रोलर्स एंड सर्विसेज कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दैट ओके सो वी आर राइटिंग डेटा बेस सर्विस सो इन दिस डेटा बेस सर्विस वी आर राइटिंग दिस डिफरेंट मैथड्स क्रिएट कनेक्शन एंड ऑल so initially we will write create connection and we need few variables here few variables like uh, we need a config so maybe your different environments will have a different database configuration so i created this uh, config.ts and this is my interface i mean this is just about collecting the basic information about dialect host password port and username and i created one interface for this config service like i will be capturing all these attributes for a different environment so i will be just passing the environment like development environment and production environment then capture the values like this okay this you can use uh, and we can just import this config and here what we can do is uh, we can just capture what is the configuration so i can do const Const tb config is I have already a config object, so I will be just passing the environment here. So you can just pass process dot env dot and this is not that config. I am talking about this config. okay now with db config has all these attributes username password database and entities entities consider that we have only user entities for now that we will add later now in this create connection before uh, calling this create, create connection uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to register a event so here we will we will see the magic of event emitter you emit a, you emit a event and you capture a event somewhere else and just do the retry for database connection so here we will create a event emitter so this emitter is of type event emitter okay and uh, we can also use a logger we already have a logger instance available okay so before calling the create connection we will just uh, what we will do is we will register this event emitter event sorry for the typo so register event we can define this method so what this register event method will do is it will just uh, invoke this database service dot event emitter database service dot emitter dot on so these are the standard node js events so if we get db connection errors something like this so what we can do is this is a callback function which will get triggered and here we will just say database service dot logger logger dot log we are in trouble i mean database connection error so the logger log level is info and here you will be retrying something like this okay and in the set timeout i mean uh, after some time what you can do is you can retry calling that function again so you can use set timeout like after 3 seconds i will run a re retry and i will do await database service dot create connection and you have to make it async 
uh, why it is complaining okay we have to make it a sync this is a timeout event okay so we created a register event so we first before getting the connection we will uh, register the event so that once whenever there is an error occurred in database connection you should be able to handle it so now coming to this point everything is good so what we can do is database service dot logger dot info logger dot log info and here we can just say connected successfully that's it if we get an error here it's a we have to actually emit an event emitting event or whatever we want and database service dot emitter dot emit this is how we emit an event and put the event name same as whatever we have already given db connection error that's it so we created our database service it will emit the event whenever the database error occurs then it will do the retry after three seconds you can just configure this timestamp and this is how our database service will work and other important thing is we have to manage this config.ts to just manage the configuration details about database now what we can do the next part is now we have all our database set up okay now the next thing is we can just try to connect it because uh, in the environment file what do we have is let's go to env here we have mysql root and host is mysql because we are using the database host which is a container host so what we will do is next is docker com compose up and uh, we should be able to connect to database but before that we need to somehow call this uh, connection service somewhere so yeah this is the right place we are creating a server here we can just import a database service uh, it's not out of his working okay we have like database service and we'll just import it here database service dot get connection so once the server has started we have to make this call and can i import it okay i didn't export i think yes that is true so first of all we have to export it and it's a named export so we have to okay now i can import the database service dot get connection okay so it will take care of all the things once the server started listening this get connection and it will it will automatically keep retrying or what you can do is if you want database connection first then i mean i will not suggest that approach what we are doing is okay dot then if database connection has been established then only start the server and do all these things <coughs> getting so get connection connection is successful then we just create the server instance and we start listening to the port okay these are just different ways i mean we can choose what way we want i think this is fine we are creating a server and then once server started listening we will just call this get connection here you can also provide a callback and if you wanted to do particular thing after database connection has initialized and started like seeding the data and all these things you can do here you just need to register a callback here in this you can provide a callback and once this is done return a callback from this okay so now in the next video we will connect to the database and we will start writing our entities